Hello, I am Sujoy and I welcome you to my new series of tutorials on curve fitting. This is my sixth video in the series. In my first video, I told you about the basics of curve fitting. In my second video, I told you how to fit a straight line by curve fitting technique. In my third video, I told you how to fit a quadratic equation by group averages method. In my fourth video, I told you about the graphical method of curve fitting. In my fifth video, I told you how to do curve fitting directly on this Casio FX901 ES scientific calculator. And today in the sixth video, I will tell you how to do curve fitting on Casio FX802 MS scientific calculator. Do you know, you can find out the equation of the line, you can find out values of x and y, a and b, you can find the correlation coefficient or r, you can find the estimated values of x and estimated values of y for any given value. Isn't it cool? So let's start the video. So our question is, fit a curve of the form y is equals to ax plus b for the given data. These are our given data where some values of x and corresponding values of y are given. And also find out y of 3.5. That means find out the value of y for x is equals to 3.5. So let's proceed to the solution. y is equals to ax plus b is equation of a straight line. So our curve is a straight line. And y is equals to ax plus b is also represented as y is equals to a plus bx. If you compare both the representations y is equals to ax plus b and y is equals to a plus bx, you will get small a is equals to capital B and small b is equals to capital A. Next we will do linear regression on the calculator. For that we have to clear the calculator memory. For that press shift and this mode button and enter 3 to clear all. So enter 3 and press equals to button. So everything reset and press the AC button to clear screen. And now we will do linear regression. For that press mode and 3 for regression and 1 for linear regression. And now we will enter the data into the calculator. And we will enter the data in x, y pair. So our first pair is x1 and y2. So enter 1 and then press this comma button and enter 2. And to enter the data into the calculator, press this M plus button. So our next data set is 2 and 4, 2 comma 4, M plus 3 comma 7, M plus 4 comma 9, M plus 5 comma 12, M plus and 6 comma 14 M plus. So all the data is entered into the calculator. If you want to check or see any entered value, then press the joystick up. And you can see y6 is 14 and x6 is 6. That means the 6th value of x is 6 and the 6th value of y is 14. This is our first data set, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. The sixth data set is 6 and 14. Next thing is frequency. The frequency of 6 is 1. That means the sixth data set is occurring only once in the table. If they are occurring more than one times, let's say three times, then instead of entering them three times into the calculator, you can just enter them once in the calculator and set their frequency at 3. So that will mean the same thing, that is they are occurring three times in the table. So you can do this with any other samples if you, there are more than one occurrence of any data pair. And next, if you want to change any value, let's say if you want to change the y6 to 15, then enter the new value and press the equals to button. So y6 is changed to 15. Again, if you want to change it to 14, enter the new value, that is 14, and press the equals to button. So y6 is changed to 14. And now clear the screen by pressing the AC button. So all the data is entered onto the calculator. Now we will evaluate the equation of the line. So evaluating equation of the line. Equation of the line can be given by any of the representations y is equals to a plus bx or y is equals to ax plus b. First we will do this representation. For that we have to find out the value of capital A and capital B. For that press shift and 2. 
and press the joystick right two times and you can see capital A, capital B and R. So for capital A, type 1 and press equals to. So capital A is minus 0.6, that is this value. And for capital B, press shift 2, joystick right two times and enter 2 for capital B. So enter 2 and press equals to. So capital B is equal to 2.4571, that is this value. So we know the values of A and B, let's frame the equation of the line. So the equation of the line y is equals to a that is minus 0.6 plus b that is 2.4571 into x. And now according to our question we have to find out y for x is equals to 3.5. So if we substitute x equals to 3.5 in this equation you will get y is equals to minus 0.6 plus 2.4571 into 3.5. So that's equals to 7.3985 or nearly equals to 8. Let's do it on the calculator. Minus 0.6 plus 2.4571 into x that is 3.5 and press the equals to button. So that's equals to 7.3985. And now if you do this representation that is y is equals to small x plus b. So you have to find out the values of small a and small b. So we know the value of small a is equals to capital B. That is equals to 2.4571. And small b is equals to capital A. That is minus 0.6. So equal to the line y becomes y equals to a that is 2.4571 into x plus b. b is minus 0.6. That is minus 0.6. So if we substitute x equals to 3.5 in this equation you will get y is equals to 2.4571 into 3.5 minus 0.6 so that's equals to 7.3985 or nearly equals to 8 so if you follow any of the representations you will get the same value of y and now let's do this on the calculator 2.4571 into x that is 3.5 5 minus 0.6 and press the equals to button that's equals to 7.3985 next is correlation coefficient it's also called the Pearson correlation coefficient or the sample correlation coefficient it represented by small r and its range is from 0 to plus 1 for positive correlation that is upward line so if you draw the curve and if the line is upward, then our correlation coefficient is positive. To know more about drawing the curve and more about the graphical method of curve fitting, please watch my previous video. And the correlation coefficient is from minus 1 to 0 for negative correlation, that is downward line. So if the line is downward like this, then the correlation coefficient value is negative. The correlation coefficient also tells us the thickness of the curve. That means if the correlation coefficient value is closer to plus 1 in case of positive correlation, then we can say our points are closer to the line. And if the correlation coefficient value is closer to minus 1 in case of negative correlation, then we can say all the points are closer to the line. In other words, our line or our curve fits the points well. So the correlation coefficient also tells us about the fitness of the curve. And if you are not doing the curve fitting by a graphical method, you can't visualize how well our curve or line fits the point. So if you are following an algebraic method for curve fitting, then the correlation coefficient value tells us the fitness of the curve. And now let's find out the value of R on the calculator. For that press shift 2, joystick right 2 times and 3 for R and press the equals to button. So that's equals to 0 0.998 or nearly equals to plus 1. So we can say our line will be an upward line since this is positive value and the value is very close to plus 1. So all the points will be very closer to our line. And now I will tell you how to find out the estimated value of X and estimated value of Y. So we have to find out the estimated value of y for x equals to 3.5. So 
So first we will enter 3.5 and press shift to joystick right 3 times and we have to find out the value of y for that enter 2 and press equals to. So for x equals to 3.5 y is 8. You can also do the reverse calculation that is for y equals to 8 what is the value of x. So enter 8 shift 2 joystick right 3 times and for x enter 1 and press equals to. So for y equals to 8 x equals to 3.5. You can also frame the equation of the line on the calculator for that press shift 2 joystick right 2 times 1 for a plus shift 2 2 for b into x let's say x is 3.5 and press the equals to button so again if you form the equation of the line you will get the same value of y on calculator tutorial how was the video let me know in the comments below I will upload more videos on curve fitting so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that when I will upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe and it takes a lot of effort and research to make a video like this so you appreciate my effort please like and share the video so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing